hello and welcome back to the channel uh, so this short video is recorded for my special friend xar101 uh, who had a problem in godot uh, stating that cannot call method instantiate on new value uh, so I promise that I will record something about uh, that, especially about the uh, null values in programming and especially for Godot. I'm back from vacation. Uh, I had a nice time. I'm pretty much rested. So I think I'm ready to uh, record about that specific issue. So we'll, before we jump, into Godot, let me show you one image to give you some kind of idea what we're talking about. So this is here. So in programming, we have few types of uh, values, uh, even with lightly typed languages as GDScript. Of course, there's a situation where we have a value, right? So that would be something as, uh, let me just erase all of that. Okay. Uh, tools brush. So we can have some kind of value being declared and assigned a value, right? And that would be the toilet paper is there and you have some paper on it. Then there would be a situation where our value, uh, let's erase that has a value set to zero, meaning there is a toilet paper, there's, but there's the roll is empty, okay? Then there will be another situation where we just dec declare the value and either assign a null to it explicitly or don't write anything after the value declaration and that would be null. And then there would be a situation where we try to reference something that was not declared. And then it is undeclared. Declared. I don't know whether I spelled that correctly or it is undefined. And for the purpose of the uh, this tutorial and me rambling about this in uh, future videos, we treat undeclared and undefined um, as pretty much the same. Meaning it doesn't exist and it was not declared. This is like it was declared, but there, there's no value to it. Then there's the empty value, which is like zero and non-zero value, right? So we have actually something there. And let us jump to Godot and discuss this in the context of Godot itself. So if we take a look at this very simple project that I prepared, it really doesn't have anything, just the main node and character body um, node that uh, I made it to a custom node, which is just like a standard, you know, character body, sprite, and collision shape to the nodes. And uh, I attached very simple script that uh, like is almost empty. Let me start by commenting all of this. And uh, let's just use the process function here. And let's try to discuss all of those examples, right? Let's make it pass for now so we don't get any errors there. So the first example of us having some kind of non-zero value would be again 
declaring a value and saying that it is, for example, 12. Simple, right? Uh, the second example would be to set it to zero. That's the same. But then with the null value, right, I would just write it like this. And then if I were to print that value right now and run it, in the output, I'm going to see all nulls, right? So this is the first situation. So the value was declared, this is the declaration, but it was not initialized. So this part is initialization. Or I explicitly assign null to it, to it. Okay. And then of course, if I remove that line and I try to reference that um, variable, it is undeclared. It doesn't exist anywhere in my code or in the scope of that script. So it is undeclared or undefined. Like you, I'm trying to reference something that doesn't exist. Right. So even here, the um, editor says ident identifier speed not declared in the current scope. And it all makes sense. But going back to the issue that our friend had here, cannot call method instantiate on a null value. Right. So this is a little bit more complex because as you can tell, probably, uh, we can, we can export some values here, right? To get those available in the inspector. So this of course is our inspector panel. And here my player script is expecting some kind of a uh, sprite node, right? But here now it is empty. So it's null, right? If I try to, oops, if I try to access that exported variable, it will be null. Therefore, if it, it's, it's, if it's null and I try to access any kind of it property or function, this line during runtime will throw an error because if it doesn't exist, it definitely doesn't have any properties or functions, right? And running it will create an error, invite access to property or key texture on a basic object of type. So to fix that, of course, I have to pass, uh, oops, I have to, God damn it. How do you do it? Uh, I can lock it right somewhere. Uh, how do you do this? Can I just, yeah, I can, no, that doesn't work. Um, match object properties, open document, um, make floating, make it stop. Oh, now, now if I stop the, the runtime. Okay, now I can assign it. All right. And now, of course, this won't throw an error, right? Because sprite is being defined. So, uh, what happened specifically in the case of our friend is that probably somewhere here you had a scene, um, scene reference that was of type pack scene. And if it's a pack scene, you can scene reference you can instantiate it, right? But since it's empty, it cannot be instantiated. You will see the, probably the very same error. Right? Cannot call method instantiate on a null value, right? 
So what we need to do is to actually uh, create a scene. Uh, let me see. Right, and then since it's no longer empty, it can be instantiated. Right. So this is the most common problem when it comes to null values. Uh, I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, just give them in the comments. Um, yeah, always check whether you have references in your inspector for the things that you would like to instantiate or use in your script in a given scene. Uh, also, if you have any kind of questions or other strange errors, uh, let me know. I'll try to explain them. I hope that helps. So yeah, just check your inspector and remember about non-zero values, zero values, nulls and undeclares and undefines in GDScript. Hope that helps. Take care. Cheers.